Namaskar. I'm going to continue my brief description on the book Yoga Psychology, Chapter 12, Biopsychology. The subject of today's discussion is called Psychic Longing for Psychic Pabulum. Pabulum is a Latin word. Its meaning is not comprehensive. A vogue in Sanskrit is the proper term. So, a vogue means to enjoy, an object of enjoyment. Few people are acquainted with the term a vogue. Therefore, people use pabulum. Objects of enjoyment may be physical or psychic. Suppose an object of enjoyment is sweet. This is physical pabulum. A normal idea is psychic pabulum. A noble idea is psychic pabulum. If the psychic object is sweet, psychic movement is towards something crude. If it's something subtle, the mind moves towards the subtle and will become subtle. The mind will have to maintain parallelism with the physical structure while moving towards a certain object. Association by proper adjustment and parallelism between the psychic and physical bodies cause life and dissociation. Under adverse conditions results in death. If there so there are two causes of death physical and psychic physical death occurs when the waves of the physical structure become crudified due to old age or any other physical deficiency. Psychic death occurs when psychic clash with either subtler or cruder thought waves result in increasing or decreasing the wavelength of the mental waves respectively. In this case also loss of parallelism will occur and the physical and psychic bodies shall dissociate. Human beings should move forward with a thorough knowledge of propriety and impropriety. They must maintain a balance between social propriety, political propriety and psychic propriety. Namaskar.